verdict should send to former President Trump, but also to his political allies in Congress, some of which you serve with in the House who have downplayed what happened on January 6th? Well, Donald Trump has already repeatedly dangled uh, the likelihood that if he were ever to be uh, returned to the Oval Office uh, by any means, that he would um, provide pardons. He would pardon the January 6th defendants. And of course, his political subculture now treats January 6th defendants as political prisoners rather than the people who beat our police officers over the head with Confederate battle flags and Trump flags and uh, destroyed federal property and drove the House and the Senate out of their chambers uh, in a mob action uh, by domestic violence for the first time in American history. So uh, these people uh, have proven themselves to be enemies uh, of the constitutional order. So I don't know that Donald Trump will be moved to do anything other than to return to his idea of offering pardons to people who were guilty of uh, committing crimes during the course of events that he set into motion himself. There's a, a former Oath Keeper spokesman who told your committee he worries a Trump 2024 run would see Trump try to whip up a civil war amongst his followers using lies and deceit. That was a quote. And you know that there are many people out there who are sympathetic to these defendants, who think that this was, and, and, and you know, folks have, have said this publicly, they think that this was all just sort of in the bag for the government. They believe the DOJ is corrupt. They're not going to be convinced by these verdicts. I wonder if you think these verdicts are a, a deterrent to sympathizers or if you think it might make a, a, a martyr of these defendants as well? Well, I certainly hope that it will work as a deterrent to people who are considering trying to overthrow the government of the United States and to get uh, a president to use violence and subversion of the constitutional order to impose martial law and then to oust the democratic constitution that we've got. Um, but I think your point is correct. We have to remember that Donald Trump and the forces of chaos and uh, vendetta and authoritarianism are still very much out there. And uh, the, the democratic constitutional order has held. I think that the election that we just came through was a very positive thing in terms of the vast majority of the American people trying to stand up for democracy and freedom and the constitutional framework. But uh, the point remains that there are those people who want to turn uh, the people who beat up our police officers and smashed our windows and stormed the Capitol into martyrs, and they would like to treat them that way. That has been the history of authoritarian and fascist coups all over the world, that the people who engage in an attempt that is stopped uh, by the constitutional regime are somehow turned into martyrs in order to try to make it succeed the next time. And so, uh, you know, I will just tell you that the people on the January 6th committee, I think the majority of people in Congress are standing strong for constitutional democracy, just like the vast majority of Americans are too. And tonight is a, a night when we can celebrate uh, the workings of our system of justice and the rule of law. Congressman, thank you for your time this evening. Congressman Jamie Raskin with the January 6th committee.